Let's go. Hello YouTube. Welcome to another Ruslan Ponomaryov video. Alright, so now in this game I'm playing black and Ruslan is playing white. And he's starting off with e4 and I'm gonna play e5. Um, okay. And let's see if he plays knight to f3. He does. Alright, so let's play knight f6. Let's go for the Petrovs. Oh, you are a big fan of... I can see Fabiano Caruana. <laughs> no. Actually not, uh, but I, I really like this uh, opening, even though I don't know it very well, so please feel free to test me in every possible way. Well, so far I don't know exactly uh, where to find advantage. Well, Magnus Carlsen and his <laughs> team doesn't know either, it looks like. Yeah? But I didn't expect you from that you will play Petrov or Subsid, somehow. Okay, I mean, I know some lines some ideas that's good i hope that i'm not playing versus like fabiano who knows you very are much <laughs> much better let me just show you about that so you what are... i wanted to test here guys like basically like all options okay 95 probably like d4 94 i'm not really sure what is like options here Probably. So, so sometimes I saw some Fidel games in here. And, uh, no, no, I don't have so many I'm not like such a player. <laughs> Especially in Blitz, much. people like to sacrifice an F7, and um, for some reason, it doesn't. It isn't that bad um, because uh, White gets a huge initiative. But um, uh, of course, Black is better. I want, black knows I want to try this idea of Fidel if I'm not. If I'm not Knight mistaken. to d3. That's the first time I've ever seen that move. Actually, I've seen it. I've seen it been played in some master games, but I have not really. Um, I have not really. Um, I'm not, I think he played now something like b3. If I'm not mistaken. Well, it was rapid as well. Bishop goes to b2. B3. Uh huh. I'm gonna bring my knight back to f6. Okay. Well, it was not necessary, but probably in some you needed. So we will go to some endgame where yeah. I hope I have some kind of development. But so far, maybe it was a mistake. Maybe I should after knight a six to play knight c three and take this only two vc knight. Hmm. Yeah, this is like a problem. It's without queens, my active options can be limited. <laughs> All right. No, I'm compromising, guys, oh, as well here. This is not so so good. Improvising uh, instead of just preparing some interesting line. But okay, so far I will probably finish development with knight c3, long castle, and then will try to push my pawns like g4, f4, and try to hope even without queens to create something. Maybe c4 was an option, knight c3. My knight's a little bit strange, like, it's not so good uh, blocking my pawns. Maybe I may, maybe I'm actually... Okay, game already started, if, if you will let me, if it's okay for you, can I check on chess base how the thief actually played? Yeah, that's, that's fine. I mean, we are already not following his game, so I will not <laughs> try to cheat you. I stuff. do not think you will. I think you are uh, so past just, that. I'm just uh, curious, like how this game Do you use teenage uh, rage thing? So, okay, you do. Okay, okay, he played knight c3, knight f6, b3, c6, bishop b2, queen e2. Yeah, knight e2. That was the same. Yeah, that's, I made a mistake. Yeah, he took with knight on e2, not with the bishop. That was okay. my bad. Well, Fedez even said versus Trihubov, I was talking the game, and we'll trap it, St. Petersburg. Then it was ended. 
like the draw, but I thought it's going to be interesting like idea. He had some small pressure. So you played knight c3 and was... knight captures on e2. Yeah, like now my bishop on b2 is kind of closed, etc. So I limited myself my options. But bishop f5 I don't really like because I think I wanted to play g4 in some moment and you will probably maybe help me if I play g4 and I will attack your bishop with the pawn. Maybe I'm wrong. But if I play h3, what? You can play h5, what? To stop. Maybe I can still play g4. Take, take, rook h1, rook h1. My rook goes to h8. Kind of looks nice. Compensation there, no? Let's try. It's not very typical in the endgame sacrifice a pawn, but if it will be. So this bishop on b2 attacks g7 um, in many of these lines. So um, how do we deal with that? I'm thinking either rook to g8 or castling. But castling seems to me a bit uh, unnecessary because I want my king to be um, kind of... Um, an active piece and he is rushing down the board with his pawns there but I mean I think castling here makes a lot of sense due to the fact of g4 if bishop bishop g6 then g5 and I have to move this knight then I might become there might become a target on the e file from a rook if his bishop ever moves so that two of my pieces is attacked at the same time both of my bishops that is after takes on e4 and bishop captures back after after he played g5 i have to move my knight to e4 knight takes knight bishop takes but i think he's one tempo too short to do that i'm not really understand what you want but okay <laughs> No, me neither. <laughs> My plan is basically, guys, I'm playing this way. I want to play g4, f4. Like, we don't have queens, so we try to use at least another. I have some uh, development advantage. So, But it can disappear very quickly if, manage, if Black will manage to solve his problems with the world. So if I play this, maybe this move is um, really... Yeah, knight a6, knight c7, old castle is basically was also the plan. Now you play bishop f5, bishop c. Look, you just wasted your time for what? For nothing. Huh? <laughs> and you also castle at your uh, king shot, and my king is lost. So I can also start to attack you with the pawns. Now, okay, we don't have queens, but still, like maybe there is will be some attacks. I am looking forward for it. You want to be attacked or what? Yes. <laughs> okay, I can play g5, but it may be 98, <laughs> and you have f5 square back for the bishop. Maybe I can play rook g1, h4, h5 first. I, well, without queens again, it's not so easy. Say, even despite we are having some time, the attack is not so. The attack not is real, so guys. The attack is real. Not real without queens. <laughs> it's not so. But okay, except queens, all other pieces on board. Huh? So. That's why I hate people who play Petrov. Huh? Like, <laughs> they want to destroy all fun. Huh? Like you hate me? <laughs> really? <laughs> I think like Marcus Castle hated to see this Petrov. <laughs> Probably. Again, really <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going with my boss. Maybe h4 was not a very careful move. 
maybe now you have knight e5, but okay. If I had a queen on g2, I would be already like winning here, but without queens, it's still so far away. Ah, first time I have less time than you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, good lessons. You take lessons very quickly. Ah, but okay, so far positions looks fine for me. I think. And this white, but lots of work requires to score a point. So Ninety-five. I told you. About this move, you decided to play it. So yeah, basically, for you it's good to exchange now pieces because you don't have so much squares for everything. I what I need to think. They want to take on e5, g5, h5. Okay, let's do this. Maybe it will be weakness on e5. Also, now you don't have very good comfortable move like knight d7 blocking the bishop c8, knight d8 blocking rook f8, knight d5 losing a pawn on e5, and knight h5 not plus. So we can go forward. One more time with h5. We can play knight e4 and try to attack on e5. Yes. And maybe this would be some tactics, guys. If you play f5, I take g takes f6, knight f6, bishop e5, knight e4, rook g7. And we are winning the pawns. Bishop f5. Okay, you are attacking me, but now the problem if I play knight g3, your bishop will be attacked. And bishop pawn on e5. So this is basically, I guess, losing a pawn for what? So, some small pressure that I put finally give me some benefits. You made so many moves with this bishop. You sh in previous game you played with this bishop g5. Huh? Now probably you should take care about your bishops. Huh? Feels like a cat toy with a mouse. Well, yeah, guys, for me. After two games, I feel like, yeah, maybe I don't have, I do not feel such much tension, but in this aspect, like to play, but okay, at least maybe for someone in these videos can be useful as well, like to, to see how grandmasters think, like differences, etc. And yeah, with this game, we will probably finish and I will do some other stuff and just for me also first experience so bishop d6 i mean now i can go back if i want do i want to keep this bishop or i can play f no i like this bishop a lot this bishop on diagonal will still mix you some problems. Ah, bishop d5, this is I didn't see. Huh? I was too relaxed. I was too relaxed. This I didn't see. Well, it's not like I'm losing something, but just my rook will feel 
slightly uncomfortable. Okay, maybe rook h3. Let's play. You can attack me bishop b6, but then I have rook h2. So this is not like a repetition or something. I'm not with, but yeah, I should be careful with my uh, Hi, Attilas, have you ever been in Hungary? Yeah, I was, actually it was my first uh, visit outside of Ukraine. In 1994, I played in Seret. Uh, World Championship under 12. Peter Vlek, I think, lives here. But later, I don't think I was so much. I, well, I, I was I was playing some. It was more tournaments as well. I think maybe near uh, River Balaton or Lake Lake Lake. I would say Balaton. Yeah. So Rook D8. You play it. Okay. You don't you don't play Bishop E6. So now we can maybe just play some sort of this knight. Bishop c3 instead of bishop b2. Yeah, it was possible. Option, I just bishop c3, bishop a3, maybe some checks. Maybe it's kind of matter of taste, somehow. Usually I don't like to block my own pawns without much reason, but yeah, it's also. So rook f3, basically a defense. Knight h6 doesn't do much yet, because you have king h8 and it's not. Rook F3, okay. Let's see how it's a pin. Well, D2 so far, pawn. I mean, he's, he's not really attacked. Maybe if Bishop, before he will attack, but so far it's protected. I don't really think that's a big issue. Okay, yeah, Bishop C3, Bishop B2. It has some plus, maybe maybe bishop c3 was yeah, better in aspect like king b2 can develop, now my king on c1. Ah, Attila, you, play, you make a throw in Avro and routes the way. There is like a tournament. Oh, you played in 1994 as well, huh? Okay, okay. Ah, well, I was kind of small kid in that moment. I remember, yeah, Peter Sider was already like a star in that moment, but he still needed to prove it like to. I, I, but I need to play my own championship as well. So bishop d5. I need to do something with this rook. Again, maybe I'm a little bit not so careful. This rook will actually play just rook d3, something or bishop f4. This is not very typical, this kind of rook. Knight h6. I'm letting so you stand for all the talking. I'm so into this game right now. <laughs> good, good. This is. I can see that now when you are like concentrated, you play better. And I'm contrary. Like, I'm down. But I want the pawn, so I feel like. Relax, but actually it can disappear. Advantage. I want to finish with some kind of nice tactics, but so far it's not so clear. You have a forced draw here, if you want to. Mm, well, doesn't make so much sense being extra <laughs> to make a draw. So what I'm going to do? I don't know, maybe rook is three is fine, maybe not. Oh, wow, Attila Tursa tells me such stories. I still like keeping my also memories about this tournament, like it was my first bronze medal. My parents keep it at home, like you know, go away. It, okay, it was not, it was, Ukraine was already independent in the month, so it was easy, easier to go out. Like if you will read Sasonka books, maybe you will understand that like Soviet time was kind of, uh, 
your freedom was limited if you want to go outside even to another country like Hungary it was you need to ask me that is seven is a bad move because first of all on G7 is attacked also I have 96 through G6 bishop I see actually I didn't really understand but with rook is three maybe I was rated rook e8 and bishop g7 it's a lot not so sure but now you will help at me to do this so bishop g7 probably just winning a lot material or something <coughs> I can take this knight on g7 and then reach on back and try to mate with the knight maybe knight g7 is also And X net man, where did you play? I won a competition, Rainman King was on the prize cup. I did really, I a little bit mix it. Like Attila Turza played in Sehat and X net man, where did you play? Yeah, in 1996, I think I played uh, under 20 in. It was called Sherfog, the city. So you want to take my rook. I want to make knight h5, bishop e3, knight f6 is an option, knight f5, knight h6 also is an option. Knight f5 also knight e7 is a threat. I don't know, everything looks so good here. Okay, let's take this. Ah, okay, I understood. But anyway, congratulations. That winning anyway, any kind of even local competitions, it's winning something gives some extra motivation for the future. This looks terrible. Of course, it looks terrible. This knight of six is coming. So, so terrible. And did, do you play any kind of offline tournaments? In Norway, some leagues or something? I, I used to, but um, I've moved back home to my hometown and there's no chess uh, clubs or anything here in uh, this area. And like people, what, in this area, not really like, you don't have anyone who really also like, wants to play chess? No, or something? no one. No. That's why I, uh, no. I have a fun time streaming and making videos. Okay. Yeah, I also, well, in, in where I live, in Bilbao, okay, there is like clubs, but for me the problem is like, there is like no grandmasters or something. Like, oh. To discuss some professional topics, some chess, I also feel lonely. I can understand that. So I also start like, kind of streaming myself, like, to motivate myself to do some chess as well. This knight move was the terrible, terrible blunder. I mean, even, if, even if without this knight move, uh, yeah, of course. I was already two points extra. And you My position was, was totally uh, crap, yeah. <laughs> but at least I thought I had something to play on for. Now I don't. <laughs> well, now your bishop on f4 is attacked, so you are more or less forced to do something with Yeah, and then I lose both my bishops. For a rook and three pawns. Or two pawns at least, but yeah. And you still have a really nice mate attack going. Oh man! <laughs> well, All right. what can I do? I, I, I still want to pretend. Uh, like, I'm playing how I can, huh? Sometimes maybe I'm not like really fully concentrated, but still. But all right, thank okay, you. Okay, thank you for the. If you want, we can go briefly. Like, we, like if if you have a time, can we go through this game as well? 
Okay, let's, I open it. So yeah, you surprised me with this Petrov. I didn't, I don't know exactly what to do or something. Ah, more people already challenged me like to play 15 plus 10, but <laughs> 30 guys. Like I, I want also, like you are telling like it's like game cat and mouse. So that's why I also like to play against some type of card masters players myself. He, need, he can't play against um, too many amateur players because then he, he gets out of his, to his routine. Oh, wait, uh, the problem after this, I feel like my mind will be so relaxed, like I will yeah. anyway, even without, without really put so much effort, I can win the game, like, you know. So uh, after knight to d3 and... Um... Yeah, I wanted to play something like Fidesi F D. Uh, he... I think he played, but I think after knight f6 he played something like knight c3. Was his idea was queen e2, knight e2, and bishop on b2 goes. Like bishop not really closed or something. I'm not. I'm not so sure if it's good or something. But basically, this is what he did. I'm. I'm, I'm just so briefly. Uh, his I think game, knight but or knight f3 is the main moves. Yeah, yeah, of course, knight d3 is kind of very rare move. But I personally, I had some games I played here. For example, this kind of end games: d3, knight f6, bishop g5 versus bu xianzhi on Olympia. I kind of like this position, but still very solid for black. I'm not so sure that. My bishop move was terrible, bishop f5, because I let you play g4 and h4 and uh, stuff like that. Like, I, I literally gave you those pawn moves for free. Actually, I, again, I'm, 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 I'm watching this game, but I forgot. Knight c3 he was played by Fidesiev, actually. Knight c3 actually was a game that Karana beat Kramnik in Berlin, I think, yes. Okay. Knight c3, d6, d6. But this structure I like less. So actually, B3 was already improvisation from my point of view. <laughs> but maybe it's not so bad. I mean, later after knight c3, knight f6 he developed. Okay, so I put bishop b2. Take, 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 knight c3, c6. Okay, c6, okay, move just in case to prevent knight b5, castle. And bishop f5 I don't like at all. No, me neither once I see it again. Like, I, I should have played castles or knight bd7, I think. Well, there is another plan, like, knight bd7, but the problem is that your bishop on c8 yeah. is kind of Another close. idea I had was knight a6 and bring it to... Knight a6, yeah, knight c7, maybe bishop d7 and castle. This is more or less what books and read it versus me in yeah. another situation, when I have knight on f3 instead of g3. Yeah. Maybe I will play here something like rook e1 anyway, knight c7, bishop d1. Like try to prevent a long castle. And if you play something like bishop e6, then maybe knight f4. This is what I hope in some kind of pressure is g4, h4. I don't know. So you still need to finish development because yeah. I develop all my pieces. But you have like rook a8, knight b8, bishop c8, king on a8, like you need to think where you want to develop this. Maybe bishop f5 was not so bad if you decided to take on d3. Oh. You could also play something like knight bd7, g4, and taking on d3 and castle. I mean, I have two bishops, but still, not so easy. And h4. I actually have to go pretty soon. Okay, so if you want, we can finish this. Sure. Um, so yeah, I played after g4, bishop back to c8. Yeah. Uh, and you played rook d to g g1, which is makes perfect sense. You want to attack my castle king, right? And those pawns are storming up the board, and your bishop on the d2 is really just an annoying piece. Uh, towards my king side. Well, yeah, I'm 
and then they won the pawn. Also, I couldn't play h4, I thought immediately because pawn on g4 was unprotected. Yeah. That's why I played the rook g1. Like, exactly. So basically, you wasted some moves like bishop f5, bishop c for I nothing. Was here on, uh, on uh, move 13, maybe I should have gone with knight a6 anyways and played my knight to c7 to keep my bishop open. How? Sorry to play? In move 13. Uh, after rook d to g1, maybe I should have played knight to a6. a6. Maybe, I just feel like already, yeah, you could play like this. But also, if you wanted to play, why you play bishop c8? You could play bishop d7 and then knight a6. Yeah. Like, at least, rook a8 would be. But yeah, a little bit strange, like, combination like this, bishops. And knight e5. Giving you I mean, sometimes I can play here knight f4, and maybe knight a6 now not really possible because I can take with the bishop in double repose, but I mean, you can still play something like a5, knight a6. Yeah, not so sure. Oh, you mean earlier? Yeah, here. Okay. Yeah. And okay, in the end, knight b7, h4. Knight a5, yeah, I was talking about this move. I think it was a normal move, but then you blundered the pawn. Yeah, exactly. I should have gone knight d7. Yeah, maybe knight d7. Well, probably I would continue my plan here with h5, something like try to open position with g6 or h6. Yeah, but then I at least have f6, right? Yeah, I mean, you don't need like to take on g6 or something. Yeah, it's, I still need... Open. But yeah, I, I have some ideas. Maybe f4, try to open bishop. Some ideas I have, but it's not so yeah. clear yet. So after knight to e4, um, your move, knight to e4, on move 17, yeah. what what to play other than um, what I play? Like, I'm losing that pawn anyways, and if I try to play f6, you're going to take it. Yeah. And knight captures... Knight captures, bishop captures. Maybe that is um, doable. Well, this is also like losing a pawn. And if you take with a bishop, I can also take on f6. Well, you can take with rook, bishop e5, rook f2. You are not like losing the pawn. But this is, looks very bad. Yeah, like I have it does. very it strong bishop. Maybe even something like bishop c4 and h5, like open more. Or mm. something. But if I wanted to keep my pawn, that would have been what I had to play. Yeah. Maybe knight d6 was an option. Knight d6? But, okay. But then I have also something like knight f6 check, I thought. Yeah, that looks... In a check and very, then take here. Very bad for me as well. Yeah, because if you take, I take. And then bishop captures uh, e5. After yeah, probably maybe knight d8 was already like mistake, now I'm winning so. I'm not really was planning that after knight eight I will win the pawn, but suddenly, like all my play was putting bishop on b2, then I justified somehow. Sometimes it's happened like you are not really planning some tactics, but if you put pieces on good squares, it can work. And contrary. Maybe I should grab that knight on f5 after um, after I played bishop e6 on move 22. Maybe I should have just grabbed that p knight on f5. Yeah, you could grab it, I mean. But still, I mean, I have just extra pawn, two yeah, bishops. Of course, of course. Slowly, I will convert my advantage, I think, here. Exactly. But I, I was hoping... Of course, mm. I, I'm an, an amateur player. I'm playing hope chess, you know. <laughs> so I yeah. was hoping that after bishop to d5, yeah. uh, that you uh, would get your rook out of the way and I could play bishop to f4, attacking d2. Well, you could play here bishop f4 or move 24, I see. Yeah, but my problem with that was knight to e7. Well, knight is seven king h8, like, but yeah, I can play something like maybe rook d3. Knight d5 maybe. 
95. Yeah, you, you can do this. Rook d5. I mean, again, I'm like just extra pawn. If I'm not blundering my own rook, then I just again okay here. Yeah. yeah. Slowly I will convert. There is was one moment also someone commented, like I played bishop b2, maybe bishop c3 was an option like to keep king b2. Yeah, sometimes maybe it's possible. As well. I also thought about f4 to play. But okay, I mean, after when uh, after move 19 for the Grandmasters, it technically sh should be like winning. Yeah. I see. <laughs> after bishop captures e5. Because it's extra pawn and there is no like compensation, etc. Yeah, I, I'm already having trouble uh, coordinating my pieces here. Yeah. Well, you can still coordinate, but I mean, the, the pawn advantage is something that like it's going to be. Yeah, but my, my knight on e8 is really, really stopping my rooks coming into the uh, game. Well, you can play knight d6, for example, here, if you want to develop. Sure, sure. Instead of but I mean, I still have all, all kind of advantages here, like knight h5, maybe I can do. Yeah. This bishop, again, very strong. That's why I wanted to keep it. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. totally understand that. Maybe already on move 20, after you've played your bishop to b2, maybe then already I should have tried to chop that knight off. And then play knight to d6. Like knight, bishop captures g3 and then knight to d6. Well, you can do it, but again, like, um, like I'm, I'm telling you, like, okay, you just, here, if I, if I play perfectly, you will, you are lost anyway. Somehow. Yeah, yeah. Totally. I'm just uh, I'm just uh, trying to survive. As I, I I mean just that uh, for yeah. grandmaster level, this advantage of one pawn is usually enough. Somehow. Yeah. That, yeah, I understand. Like when you play some amateurs, but I mean, it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that you need to resign here. But from analytical point of view, it's difficult to say this move was better than another. Exactly. When you already lost, maybe sometimes it's better. Like to try to use some kind of tricks yeah. or something. That's what like, I was trying to do. With like sometimes, she, okay, you will lose faster, but if your opponent plays perfectly, but maybe it's more p possible that uh, your opponent can make a mistake. Like yesterday, I had one blitz game versus one blitz for Rafa Nadal. He was his name, and I was totally lost with black. I was pawned down. My position was bad. And I decided, okay, why will suffer? I just sacrificed a piece or something. And somehow he was uh, a little bit uh, not very really careful and he blundered something. So my, my tricks worked somehow. Of course, I could say that maybe moves that I made even like uh, makes position from materialistic point of view even worse. But I tried my chances. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for uh, being able to join me on this uh, Giant vs. Master um, video series. Okay, so I hope when you will upload the videos, you can share the I, link. I, I will definitely send you the links. And okay. um, thank you guys in the chat of uh, Von Mario's uh, stream so much for taking part of this as well. It, is, uh, it has been an honor to uh, play you. And... Uh, <laughs> I hope that uh, okay, maybe thank you. in the future we can actually play some uh, some other time as well. But for now, thank you so much. And uh, to well, we will we can think what we can do. I mean, like <laughs> the Twitch chess community still like developing slowly, yeah. But why not? We can make we can try to think to you that it will be interesting, like thank you some so kind of fun. Um, maybe one day, who knows? Like. There is like some kind of shows, hand and brain, <laughs> like it's also possible that to make. That would be so fun up. if we could do a hand and brain. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the year just started. We can. Exactly. We are in contact. You know my email and my contacts. So if you yeah. have some ideas. I know where you live. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Alexander Turpin actually visited us. Yeah. 
It was a little bit mess in my home at this moment. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll now it's yeah. better. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you guys haven't checked that one out, you can. I think you can search for the movie um, Sergey on the internet, and you can find that movie that I helped to uh, produce. I was the production. I have I have the link, but I understood like Alexander gave with uh, link just for me, so I I can't really share it because I think yeah no 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 in, in, in general for free. but okay it's, it's <laughs> doesn't cost so much like maybe sounds like five five euros and you have this movie or something yeah <laughs> I don't know if, if if there is like already after many years this movie available for free we can share it I just it don't have legal rights like to do it right now you guys can search for me on imdb.com if you want to know more about my production uh, skills <laughs> for movies. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, Ponomarov, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye.